Hi everyone, Sandra here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sandra Said What. Today I want to talk to you on a subject that's kind of gone, going viral regarding Kevin Hart and the famous, infamous, I guess you could say blogger, Tasha K. Um, so Kevin Hart is actually suing Tasha K for a various um, different reasons, including extortion and um, intentionally breaking a contract or interfering with a contract because Tasha K did an interview with um, one of Kevin Hart's former employees where she reveals certain things that could be damning to him in his career. Kevin Hart is a man with a lot of money and if you don't know his history, Kevin Hart is an American comedian and now actor. He's done very well for himself financially. The box office has always got some movie out so he's doing his thing. We can say that for a fact. So but one one thing about Kevin Hart is that the way he was introduced to us especially through his comedy was the fact that he would mock his first wife. A lot of his comedy routine were based on the fact that he would make fun of his wife and not only that he would he basically admitted several times on several occasions um, on cheating up on his wife and he even said he had absolutely no remorse about it he would do it again if he could okay if he had the chance he'd definitely do it again so mind you this is the woman who he had two children by at the time so he didn't feel any type of remorse he didn't feel any time of obligation to not just his wife but his children and their reputation and the shame that they would receive on a daily basis but he said I did what I did I would do it again and the person that he cheated with is actually his now current wife. Kevin Hart is currently married to Iniko Hart and they currently have two children. Kevin and his first wife were married from 2003 to 2011. So the current wife actually gave a timeline of when they dated. According to reports, Kevin and his second wife have been together since 2009. Somebody please make it make sense. According to reports, Kevin was married to his wife Tori, not ex-wife I should say, from 2003 to 2011 and he started seeing his wife around 2009. So if the reports are indeed correct, there was definitely an overlap in the relationship as Tori has stated and that cheating was basically the cause for her divorce. Not only that, before Kevin was famous, by his own account, throughout his comedy, he talked about it. He talked about how much the wife struggled with him to where she supported his career, to where she was basically the one pushing him. Although she had two kids by him, they were married. She was still the one helping him to, to go for his career and try to achieve what he always wanted. To. But over the past few years, there's been a lot of rumors and even confirmed instances of cheating. And I think it's very interesting that someone at the level of a Kevin Hart and the woman that is supposed to be his quote unquote preference, the woman that is supposed to be what his money could buy him, um, are facing these allegations because if you got what you always wanted, what you always yearned for, what you always desired, why would you want to ruin that? So that brings me to the point that I kind of want to cover today. What I want to cover today is little men syndrome, which also is known as Napoleon complex. Before we continue the video, I want to interject the thought here before you're trying to drag me in the comments. Um, and it's okay if you guys have opinions. I actually love that you want to express it. Thank you for engaging with the video. Um, as long as you're respectful to yourself and to others, I'm fine with that. What we're going to be discussing today is specifically towards Kevin Hart. And I want you guys to keep that in mind throughout the video. Yes, all men of all shapes, sizes, heights, and means have different behavioral patterns but what we are going to discuss again right now is specifically in regards to Kevin Hart his behavior and how quote unquote little man syndrome could possibly be playing a key role in the behavior he is displaying. So the Napoleon complex is basically the idea or reinforced theory that has become a known uh, ideology that shorter men tend to be more aggressive and tend to be less kind-hearted and yada 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 so the idea kind of came from you know when the French and the British were fighting Napoleon which was fighting on the side of the French at the time you know was basically vilified by the British and they would paint him as caricatures in the journals newspapers saying that the reason why he was basically doing what he was doing and acting a fool basically was because he was a short man and he was insecure and all that good stuff it has been proven that the Napoleon complex is actually not real but does that mean that short man syndrome is not a thing studies have shown that 
it actually is a thing because of the fact that this ideology has been reinforced to society and through confirmation bias and the stereotype threat it has made that a reality the stereotype threat again I've talked about this before on my channel is basically when a common knowledge is out there and it is practiced and repeated so much to where it makes a practice of reality something that may or may not have ever been make it happen based on the fact that just the thought of it exists in the first place for example um, if you say a group of people are more likely to be impoverished that ideology is going to affect them socially to where they cannot again socially function properly to where they earn a higher income thereby reinforcing the stereotype threat and it's basically the same thing for short men syndrome or napoleon complex whatever you want to call it now you see where little men syndrome has kevin caught up is that despite the fact that in his mind he got the women that he couldn't get before he was su successful and let's be very candid about it we live in america a very racist country not just racist but colorist country yes colorism is everywhere i do know that but for some reason color colorism seems to be very prominent in american society to the point where it actually dictates your job your livelihood whether or not you get married your prison sentence and a lot of things that comes with it so we cannot negate the fact that color had a role to play in the fact that kevin would leave the wife that had two children for him right and struggled with him helped him get his career on track helped him to be successful but once he got became successful once he felt like he had enough money he could move on from said wife because now he feels like he can afford something better someone better but here's the gap not only does he feel that he can afford someone better and get someone better he also feels like he has earned the right to misbehave because now he's overcompensating for all the people who told him he wasn't this, he wasn't that, and he looked like this, and he was it looked like that. Although Napoleon complex is proven to be false in a lot of cases, there are ways that it does still apply because it shows that men who are taller, specifically in American society, are more likely to be in higher positions, have higher incomes, and even be more desirable when it comes to dating and marriage. And not to mention the fact that racism di dictates a lot of things in America, including marriage. And income specifically income right that's why racism exists to keep certain people in certain areas so that and we know money makes the world go around but money makes America stay going around for a man who is short not seen as desirable struggling with his wife to become successful and start making money to not to now no longer see that wife as being fit to be by his side then move on to someone he sees he sees as an improvement that means that this man is struggling from internal colorism, his own internal self-hate is at play, his own internal reflection is at play and that he doesn't want a woman who looks like him because himself, he feels, is not good enough. When he was just himself, he wasn't desired, but now he can have anyone he wants, well I'm not going to say anyone he wants because there are a lot of people who still want to be with certain men no matter how much money you have, but now the floodgates of women have opened for him. Now the floodgates of access to not only people but certain powers, certain groups have opened to him, right? So now he doesn't have to behave. He doesn't have to, you know, watch himself. He doesn't have to keep himself in check or in line because now he's a fool. He can afford to misbehave, and that's exactly what he's doing. So the fact that he cheats on his wife is because one is his character. It's always been his character because if he was doing it even when he was broke, if he was doing it. Um, when he got divorced from this woman and went on a tour to humiliate her, not considering the fact that, oh, I've been with this woman so long, I not only, and I'm, I don't agree with the fact that he should respect her and not talk bad about her just because they have children. He should respect her as an individual, period, because she's a, an individual. And the fact that they were married and in a relationship adds a layer to that. And the fact that they have children adds a layer to that. But instead of saying, you know what, I did what I did, I, I regret it, he doesn't have any remorse. He doesn't feel bad for what he did at all. What he wants is to have his cake and eat it too because for too long, too many people have been telling him that he couldn't. So he's going to take advantage of that fact. He's going to continue to misbehave. He's going to continue to cheat and do whatever else he does 
on the side to the point where he has I did talk about operant conditioning when I um, discussed the whole Cardi B and offset situation in my life so to the point where he's basically conditioned his wife to accept his cheating as normal I believe his wife said that when she found out about the first cheating scandal she was upset she was grieving to him but the gag is you were cheating with him when he was married but because you feel like oh I'm lighter skinned right because I'm the one that's preferred I'm the one that people see as worthy I'm the one that people feel is attractive enough that this man shouldn't cheat on me but guess what if a man is not a good man it doesn't matter the woman that he's with he could have the best thing since sliced bread and I don't think sliced bread is all of that anyway he's going to cheat if he wants to especially if this man has internal issues that he has not dealt with and he's not trying to deal with them and that's the thing I feel like Kevin Hart wants people to know or think have this perception of him as a good guy for his reputation for his line of work to continue um, his privilege of being part of Hollywood circles because you know once things start going array you start losing opportunities and he doesn't want to lose opportunities so he want people to perceive him as a good guy and just because it makes him feel better right to, that people think he's a good person but deep down he knows he ain't, he's, he ain't shit he knows he's not and he doesn't care that he cheats he just doesn't want people to find out and neither does the wife because her reaction was that she was upset but saying how could you let this happen this is all over social media so her she's let him cheat in peace because how you got them is how you lose them right because you thought you were better than the previous wife and you even made a public statement stating the a timeline of your relationship that clearly overlaps with his wife's marriage right but you felt like you were so much better than this woman who stuck by his side who was good to I don't I'm not gonna say she was good to him because we don't know their relationship we don't know what happened but at least we know she was there in the beginning when things were hard for him she was there in the beginning when he wasn't financially stable let alone be rich to the level that he is but once he started getting money, he could afford you, so he went for you. But now you're surprised and up, even upset. I mean, that has to be a mental illness. I think it has to be. It ha okay, I don't mean to offend anyone who suffers from mental illness. That's not what I'm saying. But you have to have deep psychological issues to think that, oh, I'm going to cheat on a man. But he's never going to do it to me because he chose me. You, you, you don't think at one point he loved his wife? You don't think at one point he cared for his wife? You don't think at one point he made his wife feel safe enough to marry him? So why are you surprised that he's doing it to you? And you're even upset about it. And I think at this point she's accepted, you know, <sighs> I'm taking my L. At least, you know, if I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry in a Bentley. You know, like Future says. What, what Future says? Would you rather cry in whatever car? You know, I'm going to cry in a mansion. But you were eight months pregnant when he cheated. And that all came out and you were upset that he cheated when you always known and I believe she had herself has said that she wasn't the only one he cheated with man make it make sense please it has to be you have to have serious psychological issues to believe something like that but back to Kevin Kevin's behavior is definitely a form of look at me now you thought this about me but look at where I am now right you tried to ostracize me you tried to say I wasn't good-looking enough and we know looks is based a lot in this culture on skin color so a lot of the times people are not even unattractive they're just not the preferred skin color that's just what it is right you didn't think I was good enough to be here you didn't think I was good enough to have this person not only do I have this person I'm going to mistreat this person and they're not gonna leave because guess what we have kids and I provide a life for her that she don't want, she doesn't want to lose and that's what attracts a lot of women to certain men because they feel like oh this man can afford me a certain lifestyle a lot of the time and once they get hooked on him they it's hard for them to leave especially with Aniko now it's not only she has two children she's older and he's definitely cheating but she's like you know what just keep it under wraps but I think the other part is people like Kevin they don't take accountability for their behavior. They blame it on other people. Hence why he's trying to sue Tasha K. So he's trying to sue Tasha K for extortion. His claim is that Tasha K was demanding money in order to not release the interview. He's going to have to prove that in court. We don't know what's going to happen, right? But he's also suing Tasha K for interfering with his contract with his um, former employee. That has nothing to do with Tasha K. 
if um, of course you know when you go to a court you're always going to try to pile on as much as you can and whatever sticks sticks and you get the maximum of whatever you're looking for whether it's for justice or monetary gains or whatever else it might be so the fact that he, I'm not a lawyer and if you are a lawyer please let me know how that works because I don't want to speak like I'm a lawyer I'm definitely not a lawyer right but when you're suing someone for interfering between a contract between you and your former employee, that person does, didn't sign a contract with you. Now, if you're saying, you know, that person's trying to extort me, they're asking me for money in order for X, Y, and Z, and he's filed a police report, he's taking her to court. I think he's using Tasha Gay to set, send a message to other bloggers who report on him. The man wants to cheat in peace. He's not looking for accountability. He's not looking to feel better. He's not looking, you know, to make his wife feel better. He's not looking to stop cheating on his wife. He wants to cheat and he doesn't want people to know about it. He wants to cheat and he doesn't want the reputation that comes with being a cheater and not being a good person because he's a short person. He needs validation. He needs, society has always treated him a certain way. The way he's always interacted with society has always been different than a quote unquote regular average height person so he needs the validation to say yes even as a short person I can still do these things I can still be around the likes of certain people that I'm not gonna name in this video when they're being accused of huge sexual assault and scandals I can still do those things because guess what I'm who I am but I beat the system I basically it's like I'm winning so me doing this has nothing to do with him cheating has nothing to do with the women, honestly. And I think the sad part is that with a lot of women, they don't learn that a man cheating on his wife or his girlfriend or his partner or whatever with you is not an indication that he cares for you that much more. It's just an indication of self-control, not valuing the person he's with, and not caring about the person's feelings and your availability. That's what it was. So, so once you allow a man to do that to you or to another person with you, why shouldn't he do it to somebody else? Anyway, you guys, so this was today's edition, episode, whatever you want to call it. I'm Sandra Said What. Like I said, please leave me your thoughts on this subject. Be sure to like, comment, and make sure to hit that subscribe bell so we can continue to grow. We're trying to get to 1K, so please help us out. But seriously, I do want to know from you guys, what do you guys think of this whole situation with the suing Tasha K, with the suing of the... Um, former employee with you know the whole cheating the you know numerous cheating scandals the inter overlapsing of the marriages and relationships the way he dogged his wife out basically please let me know your thoughts on these subjects and i will talk to you later bye